Hey guys, this is Eskimo Poodle, and we are back. Let's play Lost Odyssey on the Xbox 360. Last time, we made our way through the rest of the uh, treatment plant under the sewers and fought a giant magical beast, which we took down with a giant not-so-magical crane. That worked out pretty good. And now we're back with uh, Jansen, Ming, and the kids. So let's go ahead and go down here and see what we got. And it's actually pretty decent, really, now that I think about it. We could have done it last episode, but I forget if there's a cutscene when we come in, so... Probably. Yeah, last episode was a bit on the long side. Okay, we got all these frozen trail locations. And all these other places that we can't go. Yeah, those rat bastards. But Refugee Camp West, we can go to. So let's go there. Oh, and I could have just saved at the, uh... The menu right there, I think. Yeah, oh well, we'll live. because it's warm like they just said and they don't want to be cold to death at least I don't want to be frozen to death I think that'd be a not great way to go uh, then again I hear you just kind of end up like taking a nap at the very end and then you just kind of go in your sleep but still the freezing part before you fall asleep probably isn't that great All right, Goats in Refugee Camp, which will actually be reasonably useful for us. So, let's get to it. Uh, let's see, I think if we talk to this guy right here. No. Well, there, there's somebody around near the save point here that we can talk to. They'll be helpful. Might be you. No? What about you? No, we'll find the guy eventually, but, uh, the monster boss around here. Okay, uh, basically he's talking about Don Lapalos. Basically, if you kill Don Lapalos, either after you talk to this guy or before you talk to this guy and bring him the claw. Well, you're supposed to get a, uh, reward. Um, and I think we take it in here, actually. Yeah, storage tent. Take it in here and talk to one of these guys. Well, not you. Maybe you? Yes, it is. I don't know if you can re-summon him after you kill him the first time. But, oh well. And we get a sacred torch staff and a sacred ring. Cool. Alright, so let's see. Sacred torch, I think that's for you, Cook. Yes, it is. There we go. Eh, decent little attack boost, but not that we really care. And let's see, as for the ring, wind, machine, and sleep, level 2. Not bad, not bad at all. I like it. Let's see. And if we go over here. There we go, four monster birds, plumes. Beautiful, beautiful. Now, are you the shopkeeper I think you are? Yes, you are. Okay, perfect. Not that he has a whole lot, but he has some stuff here. Let's see. Holy scepters. I'm not going to waste the uh, 4,000 or 5,000 gold on each of those, actually. Sorry. Uh, I will waste the uh, 5,000 on Mac here, because that'll be a nice little boost. Let's see. Anything here? We got earrings of wisdom for level 5 black magic. If we need another one. Um, I thought I had... Somebody must have those equipped. Probably the kids. You know, I'm going to buy another extra one just to have it. Just because it's nice to have the extra stuff here. And anything else here we need? Nope, we're good. And as for ring stuff, let's grab some beast eyes. There we go. Let's see, grab a few pendulums just in case we need them. Poisonous red snakes, let's grab those. Living gypsum, that'll be reasonably useful. Yeah, our money's depleting, but you know what, we'll live. Alright, 
And now let's see if we can't make any uh, new rings here. Probably make a one or two new ones. Let's see, hunter ring. We need more bird plumes, but we don't have those. And I don't think we can buy those yet. Um, let's see, magic delay. I don't care about that. Daydream, no. Could make another crusher ring. Why not? Crusher rings are always great. Crusher ring ultra. We need guardian ores. We don't need them. Or have them, I mean. Let's see. Devour ring. That's always good enough. Yeah, let's take one of those. Not that we actually need them, but hey, they're there. Let's see. Devour ring ultra. We're missing the vampire bottles. Oh well. Pickpocker ring ultra. I'd rather get the snatcher ring ultra. Or better yet, the uh, the next one that we get, but uh, I'm not really worried about it. Ace Thief Ring, huh? We need some more key rings. We'll find those eventually. Uh, let's see, I'm not really worried about the Anger or Rage Rings. We don't need too many of those. Okay, we're mostly good then. Oh, let's uh, go ahead and give Mac his new discus. There you go. Because Max is going to be our main source of physical damage here now. Uh, speaking of which, uh, let's see. Formation. Yeah, Mac and uh, Jansen in the front is probably for the best of the moment. Simply for the fact that Mac doesn't have a lot of HP by himself. Uh, let's see. Can we equip you with anything? Yeah, because we have a lot of, uh, we have a lot of, what is it, um, magic casters at the moment. So we can probably equip, equip him with something like the power bank will increase his, his attack, or something like, uh, let's see, where is it? I think somebody else has my max HP up. Oh well, we'll worry about that later then. Alright, so let's get out of here then. I don't know how this thing Ringmaker always manages to follow us around everywhere. Maybe he's like a Nurse Joy in Officer Jenny in Pokemon where he just has a bunch of clones. That might be it. Because otherwise there's no way he's running around everywhere after us. Looks like the kids are having fun out here. Let's not uh let's not bother him too much. There you go, got some loud bells. Thank you. Let's see here. Right, let me comfy myself up here. All right, there we go. And let's see. Let's go back over this way for this bad boy right here, which will contain seed number eighty, I do believe. Yes. Make sure we have all twenty of them. I think we do. I don't think I missed any. All right, cool. We got all twenty seeds. Nice. Let's see, now there is a pea pot around here somewhere. We just gotta find him. Let's see, is this what I'm looking for here? There we go, anti paralysis herb, there we go. Alright, let's go for the medical tent real fast. And you are what I want to talk to. There we go. Peapot. Give it the seeds. Awesome. And we get the Gigantes brooch, which has HP max up to uh, three, actually. Uh, they kind of skipped uh, three for some reason. I'm not sure why. Uh, where'd it go, you little bastard? Oh, there it is. Yeah, they kind of skipped uh, number two for some reason. I'm not sure why. But hey, it powers up your uh, HP by a pretty fair chunk there. So I like it. And Max going to use that for right now simply for the fact that he's going to help out on the uh, guard condition up front. Or you can give him the attack boost. Either one works. Let's see. Anything else here in the medical tent? No, there's nothing else here in the medical tent of worthwhile. Okay. 
So let's just go ahead and get out of here. Yeah, this is a medical tent, but there's nothing to do in here. I, mean, I guess you could turn in your the healing items in there. And actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I'm not sure what he means by stones. Oh, the. Why are you saying stones? Okay, but either way, you can trade these in and you'll get some stuff for it. Uh, which reminds me, I think if you trade him in a certain combination of these, he'll give you a cool item here. Uh, let's see if I can find them. Let me see if I can't find it. Alright, let me see. If we give him one of each bomb, he'll give you a power drink. If you give him two level 1 bombs and two level 2 bombs, he'll give you a level 3 bomb. And if you give him three level 1 bombs, he'll give you a level 2 bomb. So there we go. Uh, I don't think we actually really need it, but there we go. Right, let's get out of here. Oh, that reminds me, now that I think about it, talking about bombs. Let's go ahead and grab a few bombs from this guy in here of the ground up variety. Yeah, let's buy... Yeah, 10 should be good. Why not? Might be a bit overkill, but it'll help out later. Trust me. Or don't trust me, see if I care. Ah, let's see, what else can we grab here? And this tent right here, again, there's not really a whole lot going on here, but there's some stuff. Come on, hey, no, no rest. I want the treasure chest, thank you. There we go, all shield us, very nice. Basically better than all shield in every way. As for the uh, auto barrier and auto shield, I think they just apply the basic shield and barrier. So they're good, but I'd rather just uh, take the couple seconds to apply the... What is it? The uh, shield and barricade is, instead of having to just rely on basic shield and barricade. I mean, it only takes... Pretty much one turn if you have two people on it. And hello. That doesn't do anything. It's just there. You can't you can't hit it and then make it so that uh, the little bastards don't attack you in here. Because well, no one's ever gonna attack you in here. There we go. Nice chunk of a thousand gold there. Beautiful. Let's see where are we at. There's a few other treasures in here, but we can't get anything. Let's see, who am I looking for? If we go talk to one of you guys around here. Ah, there we go. Well, I'll go get some for you. I know where the pot's at. Not, not, not the pot brownies, just, you know, the pot. Shouldn't take too long. And it'll be worthwhile in the end. Can I get my uh, dinner there? One of these guys has to give me dinner, right? <laughs> Which one of you guys gives me dinner? Okay, I think we actually have to dash down here and uh, get here like really fast. Okay, so try again. Okay, I'm going to get your food. Let's go. Go away. And 
run like a madman, apparently. There we go. And we get a meal ration. Luckily, we're not that hungry, but the other guy is. So we're going to go ahead and let him have it. There you go, sir. A spiky seed. Okay, if you say so. A letter to your mother in Lowtown. Okay, sure. Sure, why not? Now, if you wanted to, you could actually go out there and run on the bridge and try to get there that way. But we're going to have an easier way to get back there to Gotza in after the next couple areas. So I'm not really too worried about it. If you do want to go run all the way and do it right now, uh, your reward will be a black belt, which will give you uh, the skill that lets your counterattacks be stronger. But I'm not worried about it right now. So... I mean, we use counter a little bit, but it's not really crucial. Anyways, uh, the uh, spiky seed that we got. Let's see, where is it? The peapot in the refugee camp loves these seeds. Okay, cool. Let's give that to that little guy then, since he seems to like it, and he seems to always be friendly, even if he's constantly being disappointed by our inability to give him more items. Very excited, okay. Alright, give it the spiky seed. There we go. And it gives us the prickly seed. Really, spiky and prickly are kind of the same thing. Maybe not exactly, but close enough. And we got the prickly seed, and the pipot in Saman wants the seeds now. So we're going to have to give that to that guy. And eventually, we're going to go around and give you seeds to the various peapots, and we'll eventually get a reward out of the last seed that we deliver. Yeah, and I think we're actually more or less done in here. There's not a whole lot else for us to do. I think if we go back in here after we turn in the uh, the Don Laplace Claw and talk to somebody. There's somebody that we could talk to. Uh, oh, the medical tent. Okay. Uh, let's go talk to somebody in here. Yeah, it's not too bad. Box of army supplies. Okay, so let's go find the uh, hot spring, and we'll be able to grab something out of it. By the uh, yeah, you have to turn in the you have to have turned in the uh, Don Lapos claw in order for him to say anything about that. All right, so let's go down here. Yeah, there's no items down here, at least not as far as I know. Seems like there should be, and I don't think there's anything up there either. Right about here. Examine it for after getting the treasure hunt tip, and we get the spire commander staff and the spire ring. All right, sounds like a plan, man. Spire commander, nice little boost. And as for the spire ring, magic, water, and poison. Okay, not bad, not bad. I like it. And let me just make sure there's nothing up that ladder before I don't waste my time going over there. Actually, I think there is something over there, but we can't do anything about it yet, so I'm just not even going to bother. I'm debating on whether I should just go to Low Town and just get that dang quest out of the way. It's not going to bother me too much, but we could if we needed to. Eh, screw it. Let's just get out of here. Come here, you little fly bastard. I will kill you. Alright, let's just go ahead and we're pretty much done with this area, so let's just get out of here. Yeah, I'll turn in the uh, letter later. I can't believe that Ghost has tried to 
plane crashed. It probably got attacked by them. Those ice creatures. Did you hear that? Just now? I wonder... It must be... You know, if you guys had actually complete a sentence, that'd be great. I think we'll be okay. Come on, do it. There we go. Let's go check it out. See if uh, Kaim and Sarah made it over there. They might have. They might not have. But it never hurts to actually just uh, give it a shot. By the way, I'm looking at the uh, the peapot list here, and you can give them a few different items to get different uh, to get different. Uh, what is it? Um, items again now. Uh, let's see. The ones that are really standing out to me is give them smelling salts, bind healer, and blazing rubies to get a cure all. How many blazing rubies do we have? I know we have a couple, but I don't think we have that many. We got we got a couple. So yeah, you can get a few uh, cure-alls that way. Of course, cure-alls, we have plenty right now anyways. Um, give it a brave fruit to get seal clear and vice versa. Uh, stone beast thorn to get white flame rock. Mint powder to get a stone beast thorn. Uh, let's see. Yeah, those, are those are the new ones besides like the uh, getting the power drinks or the extra bombs. But I'm not really too concerned about it. But the only one that's really concerning or useful, in my opinion, is possibly getting the cure alls. But and we have plenty of them. So, all right, now let's see if we can't find our mortal grandparents here. That'd be great. Hello, you. Five hundred gold. Okay, it's not bad. It's not great, but it's better than nothing. I'll take it. Wow, this thing got really messed up. That would kind of suck, because if you're mortal and crushed and you can't move, that would kind of hurt. I mean, you wouldn't die because you're immortal, but you'd be sitting there in excruciating pain for quite some time, actually. I'm not seeing a huge hole unless it's off screen somewhere. Well, if we go down the hole, how are we going to get back out? Okay, so we got to go find the cave. Alright, cool. Let's see, anything over here? I guess not. There was a glinty item right here. Let's, let's grab that. There we go. Beautiful. Let's 
Let's see, there should be a few more over here, I hope. Ah, there we go, there's one. Healing tank. And we just gotta wait for the final one to shine, which will be the best one. Where is it? There's one more around here. Right, where are you hiding at, you little bastard? I'm not seeing you. Hang on, where the heck are you? Oh, there it is. I thought it was a glint again. But this one's actually good, so maybe that's why it's in a treasure chest. All barricades. Nice. So now we got a nice little collection of... All Shieldus, All Barricadus, Zephyra, Cure All. Yeah, we got plenty of stuff now, so we're very happy. And next episode, we're going to go ahead and head into that cave and see if we can't find uh, Kaim and Sarah. So guys, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Have a good night.